Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about Autogen Framework. In our last video, we just see the worry of the Autogen Framework, how to use Autogen Framework in semantic kernel application. In this video, I'm completely focused on Autogen Framework. So what is Autogen Framework? How to implement Autogen Framework using so let's start. What is Autogen Framework? Autogen Framework's the core idea is to create a agent. Microsoft has introduced this framework concept called Autogen Framework. The core of the Autogen Framework is a free first point and is an open framework that helps you create a agent and allows multiple agents to work together to solve problems. So we can create multiple agents and all the agents work together. That means they can talk to each other and they can share the knowledge whatever it is so that a agent can do that to solve the complex problem and one more main objective of the autogen framework is designed to simple and flexible so it's a simple framework and a flexible framework so the flexible com concept will upcoming videos we talk about that concept in this video i'm just focus on how we can create simple way of the agent that we'll focus on here and it making it easier and faster to develop research a that acts like a agent so this are the base of the autogen framework in autogen framework point of view agent is like a smart assistant or bot application the main goal of agent send and receive messages like human conversation we can do with this autogen framework and send the response to the user it come up with the response using any a model tools information or people are mixing all together to generate the response that's the main objective of the autogen agent Mainly, there are three kind of agent available in Autogen framework. One is conversable agent, second assistant agent, third one is a user proxy agent. The first agent, conversable agent, is a top of the base class for assistant agent and user proxy agent. The main goal of this agent is send and receive the message. Assistant agent work as a A assistant. It can create a response and do other tasks like writing code or summarize the email. Those kind of job this assistant agent can do. User proxy agent represent the human user asking for the input and able to run code and call functions, other functions it can do. So these are the agent we'll see in upcoming videos. In this video, I'm just going to create a simple agent, two agent. One agent writes a question and another agent responds to this question. So this is just two-way communication between the agent that I'm going to focus on in this video. So Autogen Framework support two programming language, one for Python and C Sharp. Python is the core of the Autogen Framework. So Autogen Framework first created based on the Python language and now it's recently moved to the C Sharp as well. If you are using C Sharp, you have to install the NuGet package Autogen. For Python, we have to install this Py Autogen pip package we have to install. As I mentioned in this video, I'm going to focus on. Let's move on to Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, I have created one console application, the console application called Hello Autogen. I have created one separate class library file for to maintain the keys. So I, I have created the separate project config. Here I used Azure OpenAI settings. In this file, I specified my deployment name and uh, key endpoint. All the information I added here. So once you create this application, the first step, you have to install the NuGet package. So if you go to the NuGet manager, you can search this one, Autogen. So the latest version 0.2.0. So this package has to be installed. I have already installed this package. So I just directly go to the main program.cs file. So in this program, I'm going to write a simple example. Talk to agents. So teacher agent and a student agent. Teacher agent writes a question to the student. Student agent responds to the teacher agent. This is the idea for in this sample. So for that, we are going to create the two agent. So here I am first going to create the teacher agent. So here I mentioned like teacher agent. As I mentioned, there are three type of agent available. Conversable agent, assistant agent, user proxy agent. So in this sample, I'm going to use conversable agent. So here, conversable agent. So this agent, as I mentioned, this is a teacher agent. So here a variable also I mentioned like a teacher agent equal to new of. So these are the parameter we have to set. So the first argument is a name. So what is the name of this agent? So the name of the agent is teacher agent. And the second argument system message you have to set. 
So the system message I'm going to set um, like ask questions or ask questions to the student. So there is a second argument. The third argument we have to specify the config information. So the con config information should contain your deployment information and other parameter also. So in this video, I'm just focusing only on the deployment information I'm going to pass. So I'm going to use Azure OpenAI information only. So for that, so here I'm going to create the config information. So conversable agent config. So agent config equal to new off conversable agent. So here we have to set this config list. We have to set here. We have to specify the config information. As I mentioned, I'm going to use Azure OpenAI. So I'm going to create the config object for this Azure OpenAI relator. So here, Azure OpenAI config, Azure OpenAI config, new off. So we have to pass the endpoint deployment and API key. So this information available in the Azure settings dot first parameter endpoint setting second parameter is um, deployment name third argument we have to pass the key so Azure config settings dot subscription key so it's ready. So this I'm going to assign in this conversationable agent config file. So here, this is a list. So I assigned. This is ready. So this argument I passed as a third argument here. So agent config. And the next argument all are default argument. So I just pass only the null. The second. The next argument is a termination information we have to pass. So in this sample, I'm not going to use, I just pass as null. And the next argument is a human input mode. So human input is needed or not. For this sample is not needed. So I mentioned is a never here. And function map not required, null. And default any replay available or not. So that also not applicable for this sample. So this is done. So just make it hide it so that we can see more information. Okay. Now teacher is ready. The next I'm going to create the student. So student agent. Student agent also all are same. I just copy paste it here. And uh, this one I rename it student agent and the name also student agent and system message yeah. answer yeah. to the question answer to the question fine so rest everything same Okay, so the two agent we have created. The next step, we are going to start the conversation. Who going to start the conversation? So teacher going to start the conversation because once teacher writes the question, student should respond. So teacher should ask the question here. So here where result equal to teacher agent dot initiate chat async this function we have to call to start the conversation this async function we have to add a wait keyword here this is done so the first argument which agent should receive the conversation so here once the teacher writes the question student should receive it so here I pass the first argument, student agent should receive this conversation. Second argument is a message. In our, in our context, 
it's a question so what type of question you want to raise to the student so here i raise like i just move to the next line what is the capital of default france is coming i want to change it as a tamil nadu that's it so once the conversation finished here we get the result so the written type is a enumerable object so we have to loop one by one and print the result so here i'm going to write the for each result message and inside for each i'm going to add one condition if message is actually is a text message only response so i'm checking if it's a text message print the values so print the values where like response equal to text message dot role and the content text message dot content this content contains the response from the agent so once done i just print the response and uh, yeah seems to be all fine so what we did we just created two agent teacher agent and student agent based on our llm model in this program i am using this azure open ai llm model based on that i created the config file this information i passed here and teacher agent student agent set the system message so teacher agent should raise the question and the student should answer the question so there is no human input needed so i specified as a never human input mode that's it the rest of the argument as a passed as a null finally teacher start the conversation once the conversation done we get the response from the agent so this response is a text message so i just just check the condition if it is text message and print the role and content so that's it we run this sample and see the output i like it take some time because i did not specify the maximum rounds so i stop the application here the third argument the initiate chat async function we have to set the maximum rounds so here default is 10 i set as 2 is enough and one more i i would like to add it here this text message i would like to add one more property from who is response so that also i'm adding it here so that we can see the complete information start the application again so here we get the response teacher agent raise a question so as a user we said the question what is the capital of tamil nadu we sent to this teacher 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 agent raise this question to the student agent so the student agent is now assistant so it's automatically responding to the teacher so that's the reason assistant is coming the capital of tamil nadu is chennai i set as a maximum round 2 so that's the reason teacher agent this time assistant raise the next question to the student can you name and a major landmark or cultural highlights found in chennai we set as a maximum on two that's the reason the agent stopped the conversation if you set one more then student agent responds to this question also so this is a just starting point of view autogen framework how to implement in c sharp how two agent talk together in upcoming videos we talk about more about in this concept